Hi, I'm Sue Wilson, and I have a lovely sewing card to share with you today. We're going to use some of the new uh, sewing accessory dies for this one. I'm going to show you what we'll be using in today's video. So I've cut some little squares out of the Classic Elegance uh, paper pad. They kind of look like little quilts. It's quite cute. And out of our necessities range, this is the sewing accessories. So we'll be using the sewing machine, some of the little bobbins, and this little quilt square here. And we're going to be doing some embossing with the Nordic tiles. Now, while this may be a Christmas theme, it also looks really good as a quilting theme, too. Okay. And we're going to use some of the double stitch squares as uh, mats and layers. Go. So the first thing we're going to do is a bit of embossing. So I've got a piece of milk card, and it is six and a half inches square. I'm going to use it on the Nordic Tiles embossing folder. Now, because you have the regular pattern in this, you want to lay this down so it's even. And I'm just going to take a center section here and here. I think that'll look fine. So you've got a really cool pattern. Like I said, I think this works really well for a quilt background. So I want to do a bit of edging. I'm going to try and give it a little bit of a vintage look. So I'm going to bring in some antique linen distress oxide and a smoothie. And we're just going to add a little edge to it all the way around. And that'll just pick up that uh, milk card and sort of give it a darker shade. And I'm just going on a circular motion all the way around the edge. You won't have any hard lines with the smoothie. It's lovely like that. There we go. And you kind of bring it in a little bit if you want a tiny bit more of that distressed look. And I'm going to set this aside for just a moment. I've gone ahead and cut a couple of the double stitched squares. So I want to edge those as well. I'm going to go around with the same ink. Give them a little bit of that same tone. So they won't look quite so stark new. It'll give it a, a more vintage feel as well. And do this little one here. There we go. Tiny bit more. Okay. Pop that to the side. So I'm going to bring in my backing. And I've gone with just a milk uh, matting and layering on this one. I haven't brought in any extra color. It's quite a bit of pastel in it, and I just thought it would be simpler to let those do the, the color talking. And pop this right in the middle, nice and straight. So now I want to build up a little base here. So I'm going to use the um, uh, double stitch squares up in this corner. Just give it right about like that, and we're going to double it up. Raise it up a little bit. There we go. Now for there, I'm going to use the sewing machine. So I've gone ahead and cut it out of um, antique silver card and a little bit of a uh, black shadow by cutting it twice. I've added some mounting foam to the back to hold it up. Some little bits here and a larger one along the bottom. And that is going to just sort of hang over this one. Keep it right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, a little quilt square along the bottom here. So I've just randomly cut these out of the, um, the paper pad. So we've got kind of a blue, a pink, and an aqua. So I'm just going to sort of randomly lay them down along the bottom here and slightly overlap them, sort of up and down. There we go. Got a little aqua one here. Kind of give it... Let's move that over just a hair. We may have to adjust these a tiny bit. Like that. Let's see if we can fit a couple more in here. Down like that. And maybe on the very end. I think what I might do is just move these over a hair. Center them up just a little bit. It's always kind of trial and error. not too bad. Room for this last little guy like that. Okay, so on these little spools, I've cut them out of milk card 
And I've just wrapped a little bit of um, baker's twine around them to look like thread and put a little bit of tape on the back. So I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer glue on these and pop them on the side of the card here. Just get them set so they're nice and tacky. Yeah, oop, 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 don't do that. Let's try that again. There we go. Let me get a little towel, wipe that up. Okay. Okay. So now what I want to do is just kind of randomly pop them down here. We'll put the taller one in the center, kind of offset it a little bit. And this one down here like that. And I've got an extra piece of the baker's twine. So what I want to do is just make it kind of roll through the card a little bit. So I'm going to put some on the tip here. And I'm going to just try to tuck that under so it looks like it's coming from that particular spool. Okay. And we're going to just sort of play with it a little bit and just form it where we want and then we'll add a little glue once we're happy to it. So kind of up and around just make it look like it's coming off of that and I want to feed this one underneath the um, the needle on the sewing machine so it looks like it's actually coming from there just see if I can get a hold of that there we go pull that up a little bit and then back down, oops, a little more. Let's give it a little teeny more. And like so. Okay, I like that. So now I'm going to get it exactly how I want it, and I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue in some strategic places and pop that down and hold it and do a little bit on top here. And this glue is such good glue, it'll dry clear and you will not even see it. Oops, oops, let's try that again. I don't think I got quite enough on that one. There, in fact, you could even put a little bit down there. Hold that. And let's put some right there. And between the pieces, like that. And bit there and on top. Give that a second. And we could put a little teeny bit here to hold the end and maybe even a drop right there to hold that little circular piece. Give that a second. There we go. And I've done a sentiment. Now, I actually cut the top one out of the um, classic paper pad, so it's got a little bit of that same tone in it. And I've done a black shadow for it as well. And because it's a nice, fine little sentiment, I'm just going to use a little spray glue on that. Set that. Just barely offset. And give it a second to grab and a little bit more. Let me use my tweezers here. And we're going to pop that up just right at the top here above our sewing machine. And that'll catch the top of that square. There we go. I think that's such a fun little card. I think any sewing enthusiast would just love to have a card like this. Don't forget, our YouTube channel is there for you. We have so many videos for you to watch. Hope you enjoy them.